Welcome. In our previous videos, on natural law, one of the points we were trying to press home, was that, although many can acknowledge nature, and her laws, some people, have difficulty accepting, or have a resistance to, accepting that, with mother nature, comes a father. It's a no-brainer, if you think about it. It's odd, that the so-called intelligentsia can see the obvious especially, when, in our observation of the world, apart from your occasional, asexual worm, here and there, the general experience, is that of male and female coming together, and creating new life. Scientists, are all about the Big Bang, but basically they are speculating, on what happened, billions of years ago. Up until the 1920s, everyone thought the universe was essentially static and unchanging in time. About 15 billion years ago. This was the Big Bang, the beginning of the universe. Everybody knows you never go full retard. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. And the masses just lap it up. The obvious logical sequence, if we backtrack it up, is that the archetypal male, female principle is that of, the female, mother nature, and, the seed giving father, aka god, the creator, the dreaded, g word. It's ironic, that even with something as close to home as here on youtube, people use the term content creator, so people understand, that videos don't just make themselves. There is some intelligence behind them, at least on the production level. And there is also a person behind the video. It beggars belief, that people can't see the parallel between any manifest phenomena, such as, the creation of a YouTube video, or an iPad, and its creator, and the phenomena of a planet, and the intelligence it takes to create such a complex phenomena. This irony is further compounded, when the suggested theory being put forward, by the empiric scientists, is a huge explosion, which, from our practical observation, is the exact opposite of creativity, that is that, explosions are destructive, and not creative. Today, I wanted to take our first look at the Vedic model of creation. The basic premise of Vedic science, is from the subtle to the gross. Whereas, the paradigm from the empirical scientists, is from gross to subtle. In other words, the Vedas is saying, that consciousness creates matter, and the material scientists say, that matter has created consciousness. We will let the autistic screeching, atheistic scientists, speculate on their ass backwards, big bang, big BS theories. This video is more for those who understand, at least in principle, that there is some kind of higher power behind the cosmic manifestation. Are you ready? Because this isn't a fecking cakewalk. This is a real basic intro, and will probably raise more questions than it answers. The Vedic model, is that there is a supreme being, and that this supreme being, has various energies. Both of these two phenomena, are the causes of the manifest and unmanifest creation. At this point we need to give some background information in regards to understanding the Vedic model. That is, that nature, is comprised of three modes. A bit like the three primary colors, blue, red, and yellow. All colors, are combinations of these three primary colors. These modes of nature are, goodness, passion, and ignorance. So when we talk of nature in this video we will be referring to these three modes. The Vedas is saying, that divine energy, is eternal, and, exists in both a manifest, and an unmanifest condition. When it is in its unmanifest stage, it is known in Sanskrit, as Pradhan. And, when it is in its manifest stage it is referred to as Prakriti, or, nature. The unmanifest material nature, is the subtle, undifferentiated sum total, of all material elements, and, even though it is in the undifferentiated stage, the total material elements, are contained there in subtle form. When, 
The total material elements are manifested by the interaction of the three modes of material nature. That manifestation is called prakriti or material nature. The aggregate elements, namely the five gross elements, the five subtle elements, the four internal senses, the five senses for gathering knowledge, and the five outward organs of action, are known as the pradhan. There are five gross elements, namely earth, water, fire, air, and ether. There are also five subtle elements, smell, taste, color, touch, and sound. The senses for acquiring knowledge, and the organs for action, are ten in number. They are, the auditory sense, the sense of taste, the tactile sense, the sense of sight, the sense of smell, the active organ for speaking, the active organs for working, and those for traveling, generating, and evacuating. The internal, subtle senses, are experienced as having four aspects, in the shape of, mind, intelligence, ego, and contaminated consciousness. Distinctions between them can be made, by their different functions, since they represent different characteristics. When pure consciousness is polluted by material contamination, and when identification with the body becomes prominent, one is said to be situated under false ego. Consciousness is the function of the soul, and therefore, behind consciousness, there is soul. When consciousness is polluted by material contamination, it is called false ego. All of these are referred to in Sanskrit as the qualified Brahman. We will expand on the Brahman at a later date. The mixing element, which is known as time, is counted as the 25th element. The influence of God is felt in the time factor past, present, and future. This causes fear of death, due to, the false ego of the deluded soul, who has come into contact with material nature. Fear of death, is the action of the time factor, which represents the influence of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In other words, time is destructive. Whatever is created, is subject to destruction and dissolution, which is the action of time. The time factor is God, from whom the creation begins, as a result of the agitation of the neutral, unmanifested nature. Talking of time, we are all out of it today, but, rest assured, we will keep running with the Vedic model, in our next video, as we've barely gotten started. Until the next one, um, cat, sat.